All right, welcome back. This is episode number 20. I made a little to-do list here of all the things we have to finish up before we begin the final quest arc. So let's start by talking to Ogren and seeing if he's willing to chat about Felsi now. Need something pummeled? Yes, Salo. Need something pummeled? Yes, Salo. I guess not. How's his affection? Is it not that high? Um, plus 30. I guess not. Huh. All right. Can I give him a toy horse? What's I this? can. Oh, it's him. Baby's okay. Play thing? Oh, that's right. <laughs> he wanted a pony. And he has a kid now, so maybe the kid will like it. Well, you wanted a pony. There you go. Wait, you paid attention to what I said when I was drunk? Oh, that's special. <laughs> Ooh, hey, want to buy a bridge? Too bad it's not a real pony, huh? <laughs> uh, just as well. The real one's poop. This is... <laughs> you make me laugh, Commander. <laughs> Thanks. It's good to laugh sometimes. Alright. He's at 47 now. Need something. Is there anything else I can give him? Um, oh, there we go. Some booze. That looks fine indeed. Pummeled. <laughs> Just say the word. Need something pummeled. No. Just say the word. Can always leave and come back again, I guess, but... All right, let's give the Lyrium Ring to... Justice. What is that sound? Such beautiful singing. The stone within this ring. Is it Lyrium? You found it. Just as I asked of you. I am most grateful. You're welcome. Of all the things I have seen in this world, this is the most precious. Oh. I shall keep it at my side as a reminder that even in misfortune, good can be found. There you go. Um, speaking of hearing the song or the music, which makes sense for lyrium because it's like lyrics, like the same prefix there. Um, I noticed that the the mother speaks of the song, the song of the old gods calling out to the dark spawn, and she appears to. In, enjoyed it or have enjoyed it until she was awakened uh, and now she misses it and that seems to be the big dividing point the ones who follow the architect are glad to have been awakened and want to spread it to the rest of their kind the ones following the mother don't want to have been awakened and want to go back to to sleep so to say want to go back to being able to hear the song um, it reminds me a lot of in the first mass effect or actually in all the mass effects the um what do you call her the rachni queen in a way, the Broodmothers and all remind me of them a lot. Um, it's almost like Bioware had the idea for the Rachni, and then we're looking for some kind of like mythos for the Darkspawn and how to describe the, the call of the, the old gods. And they come up with the same thing. Oh, we hear the song, and it's beautiful, and we have our children who we teach the song. And Although they're not really taught the song, they just hear it naturally. But I guess, I guess in both cases, they hear it naturally. So anyway, it's kind of an interesting parallel there that the Darkspawn, in a way, are like the, the evil Rachni of the Dragon Age universe. Um, all right, so any other gifts? I think we had a couple more. Uh, carved runestone, you want that, Ogren? It'll do, sure. How about bracers? It'll do, sure. All right, not really. Pain and sky blow is mine. I took all my stuff out of the chest because I'm not gonna probably ever be back here again. So I figured I should while I was at it. All right, so we have given out our companion gifts. Check that off the list. We'll have to skip the uh, Agrim quest for now. So let's head outside then. I did look it up, and from what it sounds like, you can only use, once you choose your crew for the final part of the game, I keep saying crew, your companions or party members for the, for the last part of the game, you have to stick with them through the end of the game. Um, and I've decided, I thought about it a while, and I've decided that I'm going to go with, since I was just using Sigrun, Justice, and who's my third? Anders? Yeah. I'm going to go with these three. Which makes sense. Agram's been with me the longest, even though I like Justice as a character a little more. But, um, you know, Agrin is Agrin. Uh, Nathaniel, I think I've actually spent more time talking to like, over the course of this than probably almost any other companion. He's not my favorite still, but, you know, he, he deserves a chance to avenge his... Uh, avenge his family's honor um, and Sigrun I just met which is a shame I don't get to use her too much but I might as well use the character I've actually uh, used a, bu a bunch before and I'll be getting him a new bow shortly too so that'll help 
And then Valena, I feel like I should bring her, even though I guess I like Andrews better. <laughs> she doesn't say much. I don't really like any of the mages here. But uh, uh, Valana is... I want her to be able to see her sister, so I figured it'd be good to have her for the quest. She's a little more related to the main plot than Anders is. And uh, as I believe I mentioned before, this will not be the last we see of Anders. Um, all right, so these three will be my final three. So in the meantime, yes. Yes. I will use these three. I have to resist like completely gearing out, making these all characters all as best as they can be, because I just have a natural urge to want to do that. But um, like this is just a MMO, and it's just an expansion pack. Like, it is so not worth it. The rest of the game will not be that hard. I don't have to worry about min-maxing, especially for three of the crewmates, three of the party members who I won't even uh, be using at all. Um, I'm going to set to Nightmare, though, because hard is still not that hard, so maybe Nightmare will be a little more difficult. I probably should have done that a long time ago, but all the same, it's it's not really a huge difference. Um, Here's your dagger back. Did I drop this? Oh, no. I nicked it from your belt. Old habits die hard, you know. Bad secret. Stealing is wrong. Only if you get caught. And need I remind you that I wasn't caught? <laughs> Only if you get found out then. But careful, Sigrun. The spirits are always watching. Um, Alright, so let's go give Master Wade. I collected all the ingredients for the last two quests. Mainly because I want the XP, but we can use the bow as well. Yes, Commander? Here's the golem shell armor. And stand back a good bit back. Her end says sometimes I get overly excited with my hammer. <laughs> oh my. I Careful. did what I could with this, but I'm not happy with it. Not one bit. Really? If you must wear it, please don't say I made it. Huh, there's not different versions of this like there are with his other armor. Which is dangerous making a comment like that, because it's gonna I bet a lot of people are convinced, like, oh no, I did something wrong, I should have given him gold or whatever. Um so it's not part of a set, but it is a really good set of armor, obviously. Eight strength, eight constitution, two extra armor. I'll put it on him to show what it looks like. It's the same outfit as the other two, but uh, it's red. All of Wade's stuff is like that that deep red. It's almost like a pinkish red. But yeah, we're going to give him his armor set, and we'll give that probably to, uh, to Agrim. We'll see. I'm going to keep Kaylin's shield with me. Just in case somebody uses the shield in one of the other expansion packs or one of the other DLC later on. Because I don't know if we're going to get our companion's equipment back or not. Probably not. Uh, Alright, one more item. Yes, Commander? Heartwood. Oh, happy, happy day. So, what should we make? A deadly bow, a stout shield. Have plenty of shields and only one shield wearer who I'm not going to be taking with me much longer. So, the bow sounds perfect. Of course, now over there. Make sure her end doesn't interrupt with me. See, you can make everything but a staff. And it's done. What a marvelous wood. Here you go. Now leave before I tear up. <laughs> Aww. Hopefully we see Wade again. I feel like they might be in the sequel. I don't remember for sure. But I think the devs have a fondness for these characters as well. So they tend to bring the good ones back. Okay, so that's most of the quests then. Trade must flow. Unfortunately, I think we might have messed that up during that homestead attack, one of those random encounters. Apparently there's a, like a merchant you can meet there, a Lilith or something like that, and you can get her to come and trade here as well. She's the second trader. And having more merchants here, they don't have their own inventories, but the guy inside, Yuri or whatever his name is, he, uh, he will sell better items. So that kind of sucks, but eh, what are you going to do? It's not that big of a deal anyway, really. Alright, so we'll save that bow, which is a really nice bow, Heartwood bow. 5 dexterity, 5 cunning, rapid aim, critical chance attack. It's probably the best bow in the game. But yeah, he can make, he can make a bow, he can make a shield, he can make a heavy chest plate, he can make a long sword, a great sword, like everything but a staff. Like seriously, Wade. Either way though, at least those quests are out of the way, so we will cross those off of our list. Um, Alright, so now we're going to go to that little cove and do that one more side quest I almost forgot about. Uh, there we go. Anselm's Reef. Many a sailor has met his doom where the waters of the waking sea meet the Amaranthine Ocean. Anselm's Reef marks perhaps the most dangerous stretch of that coast. Alright, so there's the, the ocean begins over here. That must be like a little island. And then the inlet leads to the waking sea. And above that is the free marches. I keep forgetting to look up a map of Thetis. I really want to look one up now. 
I'm worried it might have spoilers for Inquisition though, because I I know next to nothing about Inquisition really. Oh, it's this area again. All right, where all codes look the same, more likely. All right, Justice, take down the scavenger. Um, actually, let's turn on. Well, wait a minute. I didn't assign her things. So I'm only gonna use her for like this one mission, so it's, there's just not a point to it. All right, and uh, let's have Anders turn on his. Yeah. Right. Go take on the blood mage and the scavenger. Sap all their health away. Well, that wasn't too hard. <laughs> and this is nightmare. Keep in mind, salvage trade goods. I think that's what we need. Yeah, quest completed. Oh, I guess you can find more than one. Maybe you had to turn these in at some point. And now you don't. Hey, some gold. Is that all there is to this? Kind of a stupid quest. Actually, we can probably sell those for some more coin. More salvage trade goods. Yeah, the side quests here, they could have added a little more to them. I, I feel like the, the missions, they gave a little bit of thought. As quickly as I can. They kind of relate to the main quest and the main the themes of the game in a way, but actually doing the quests is short and not particularly exciting. It's stormy here, too. <laughs> I feel like that's just to hide that you're in the same area that you've been in multiple times before now. So I don't mind reusing this once, because they could say, oh, when you were playing Liliana's song, this is the same place you were. But there are now two different codes that look exactly like this. And that's kind of lazy. Like, seriously, just take away the bridge, put some trees up there instead of a ruin, and it would have been fine. But no. All right. Anyway, let's level up while we're here. Um... 100 magic, yay. Glad you don't cap at 100. Because that would suck. Um, more mana is always nice. At this point, I'd rather have skills than spells, I think. That's kind of sad. I don't really want repulsion field. I don't really want any of this stuff, to be honest. Spell shield. It's nice when you're like, whoa, 75% spell resistance, but the spells do damage to your mana instead of your health, which I guess is a little better, but not much. Um, I honestly don't know what to choose here. Chain Lightning, maybe? We can Shapeshift. Morgan did teach us Shapeshifting a long time ago. I guess we can go with that. Let's go with Chain Lightning for now. I've put that one off long enough, I guess. Probably will never use it, but good to have, I guess. All right. Um, these quick bars are going to annoy me now. That's okay, though. Alright, so... I don't think we have to turn that quest, do we? Probably not. Um, we did that, so now... Alright, let's give Ogryn one more try. See if maybe he'll talk to us. And if he still won't talk to us after we leave and come back. Or have left and come back. And came back. Verb tense is hard. Um, then we will move on. Am All right. I correct in hearing that you are dead, dwarf. In a manner of speaking, yes. The body I inhabit is dead as well. I don't think that's quite the same thing, my friend. Um, I don't know if it's better to. She might actually have better armor for. No, not really. That's actually not that good. See, I'm wondering if it's better to combine a set like this or just use the trickster set. I'm going to do with the trickster set because I like using sets. So that's what we're going to do. Um, all right. Actually. Well, okay. Let's go in here first. And we're going to talk to Ogryn. And after that, we are going to spend the rest of this episode I doing... I thinking of Aura, the mortal woman who was wife to Kristoff. I continue to envy their love. But envy is what a demon feels. Uh -oh. A desire for something it cannot have. Be careful there. That's right. All demons were, were and are spirits. So uh, they just attach themselves to a single emotion. They're the ones who have attached themselves to the darker emotions. If he changes from a spirit of justice to a spirit of envy, that could be hit bad. 
Yeah, you should be careful. You're not mortal. I like number three, though. You aren't taking it from them. That's the difference. That's true, but I feel like being a mage, I am especially wary of demons. So I, I don't want my friend here turning into one. So you should be careful. You're not immortal. This world is difficult to understand. You coexist with both great darkness and great beauty. It must be confusing. Yet now I find myself wishing to be more. It is enlightening. Thank you for bringing me to this world. Thank you for remaining at my side. Which I shall continue to do, if you allow it. You have proven yourself a friend, Grey Warden. An example of all that is worthy in the mortal world. I am proud of what we will accomplish together. Nice. Well, these are them. The Grey Wardens who will help me uh, reestablish all the Wardens in Ferelden for hopefully centuries to come. Until the next blight. All right, let's try one more time. Need something pummeled? Yes. Why? Nope. When do we get going? Soon. Darkspawn don't kill themselves, you know. Soon, Sigrun. I would like some time to myself. All right, fine. Be that way. How you doing, Nathan? I don't think we should dally here. I wish I could tell the first enchanter I'm a great warden now. Make this place own. seems very large. Is there no end to it? Um, no end that we've yet discovered. All right. Well, in the game there is, but not in the actual Thetis. All right, so little heads up. From this point on, I'm just going to be doing crafting. So I'm going to show you guys how to do rune crafting. I'm not going to obsess over it like I'm tempted to do, because there's no use rune crafting everything for... Well, for one, I'm a mage. If I was a warrior, I would probably get myself the best runes I could, but I'm not, or a rogue. But uh, I am a, a mage who uses a staff and robes, neither of which can be upgraded with runes. So I will make some good stuff uh, for couple of my companions just to show you how to do it and with the coin I have left I'm going to make some really good potions as well because I mean what else am I going to buy I could buy some better gear for my companions but uh, at the same time they're only going to be with me for a couple more hours you can't use any of them in the two DLCs that we've yet to play so yeah I'm not going to bother wasting all my gold because you can use some of the gold in the DLC although not for much I'd rather, I'd rather have potions which I could use at any time then uh, just gear them out with things that are only marginally better than what they currently have. So anyway, if you're not interested in that kind of thing, go ahead, fast forward to the next episode, you won't miss anything. Uh, otherwise, we are going to do some rune crafting. Now, all right, so rune crafting is a brand new skill in this game, obviously. And we're gonna bring out a rune crafter, yes. potion maker, and yes. you, because why not? And uh, you basically need to find recipes, or tracings they're called. Just like... Oh, Andrews can level up. Alright. Not really a point to it now, but... Um, should we give her... We probably should, if nothing else, for the bonuses. Plus two magic would be good, and plus two magic. These have the same bonus, don't they? Minor combat health regen. Oh, you can just be like minor combat magic regen or something. Um, constitution and armor, yeah, let's make her a spirit healer and a battle mage, even though she'll probably never use them. Alright, um... We can give her regeneration if we want to make her a bit of a healer. Yeah, why not, let's do that. I don't know if we have the tactic slot for it, but... Let's see. She does! Alright. Ally health less than 90. Usability. Regeneration. Probably should make that higher, but there's no there's no way to move them up and down, switch them around, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, Alright, and Nathaniel. Give you more cunning. And more stamina? Sure, more stamina. And uh Blessing of the Ancestors, yeah, why not? That'll be good, it'll make him immune to uh, friendly spells. Could be useful. Alright, so... Those are the level ups. Um, Need something? Alright, so you can see basically all the recipes he has there. And he also has armor runes, which are, of course, another new addition to this expansion. Um, so the, the interesting thing about these 
which differentiates them from potions and poisons and all, is that to make... I can make lightning runes, for example. Um, I probably shouldn't be, though, because I'm wasting money, but just to show you guys. So I made two of them, and you can combine two of them to make a light, to an expert rune. So two journeymen make one expert. I need one more of those, two expert runes, along with a blank runestone and etching agent. Etching agents are kind of like um, enhancement agents, whatever they're called, that you make potions with. Distillation agents and what's the other one? Enhancement agents, uh, whatever it is, they're the equivalent. And blank runes are the equivalent of flasks. You only need one, and they're cheap. Um, but in that way, you can go up and up. There's seven tiers in total, all the way up to Paragon. Uh, it goes Master, Masterpiece, and Paragon. Uh, and by the time you get to those, it's like 40 gold worth of ingredients per rune, so it can get pretty expensive. And some of these recipes can be hard to come by, which is why it's good to upgrade your Vigil's Keep Vendor. Uh, two times by having the Quinari merchant and the other merchant both stay here. Um, but a lot of the recipes you can get just from questing and from the merchants inside. Uh, some of them are bugged when it comes to some of the armor runes and um, the versus darkspawn or versus undead runes for tiers 6 and 7, the masterpiece and paragon, in that the uh, the Armor runes of those tiers are, for, it's only a couple types, I think. I'm not really sure which ones, though. But they actually are weapon runes, so you can still put them in weapons, and you get the resistances and all, which is nice, but it would have been better to have them as armor runes like they belong. For the weapon runes, you can only put them in armor, which is useless, because armor does not deal damage. So putting a plus 7 fire, or plus 14 against darkspawn rune in a set of armor doesn't actually apply to anything, so that's kind of useless. So we are going to make the plus darkspawn runes because most of the damage, most of the enemies we're facing are darkspawn. There are some exceptions to that, but you know we're going after the two lead darkspawn after all, so we might as well, um, we might as well equip things that are good against them. And we are great warden, so it makes extra sense there. All right, so uh, we need some recipes. Let me just minimize for one second and look up where to get these recipes. I already have the page open. I just need to actually find it. Uh, Internet Explorer just refreshed itself or something. There we go. All right. Um, okay, so we want to make silverite runes, and it looks like you can buy most of them from Glasseric, who is one of the the uh, the people in Amaranthine. You can also buy the fifth one from Uriah, as long as you have one upgrade, and he's the guy inside the keep. All right, so let's head into the keep and buy that. We're gonna worry about runes first, then we'll worry about potions. Um, as for stout runes, those I don't think are bugged. They give constitution, and they're arguably the best defensive rune type. You could also there's a couple other different ones too. You could say are pretty good. It really depends what you're going for. Um, the armor ones I would have gone for, but there's no unlimited source of the first tier, and without that, that makes it impossible to. May I be certainly. Like you can see here, she has unlimited sources of novice runes. Where are they? <laughs> there they go. But she does not have any unlimited supplies of barrier runes. She does have stout runes, though. So we'll have to buy a lot of these. Those, whoa, they are actually quite expensive, though. This might be a pricier endeavor than I thought it would be. We'll see. I did want to save some money for potions. I feel like that'd be better to have potions than... Yeah. All right. Anyway. Um, so we're going to need some silverite runes. I'm not sure how many, though. All right, let's see. If journeyman is two, then four for expert, eight for master. Is it master, then grandmaster? Whatever the fifth one is. I can't remember the titles. 16, so I probably need, I need at least 16, so we'll go with that for now. We can buy more later. Um, and then we need to get at least one recipe from Yuri. And then we'll head to town and talk to Glasserick. Recipes, not recipes. Recipes. Uh, Grandmaster Silverite. So it is okay. It's it's Master Grandmaster Masterpiece is how it goes, and then Paragon is the best. All right. So we want Silverite. Lightning is also really good too if you're just looking for a diverse weapon type, and if you're a warrior rogue trying to take some really nice stuff into the last two DLCs, I'd probably recommend Lightning. I haven't played the DLCs in a long time, and I'm pretty sure I've only done them each once. So I don't remember much of who what you face there, but Overall, in Dragon Age, Lightning is a pretty good weapon damage type. All right, let's head to Amaranthine now. We can always change people around there if we need yes. to. Yes. 
and then we'll talk to Glarick or Glasserick, whatever his name is. We have to go out the door, seriously. So you never told me what the ceremony was like. It begins with chanting and toasts. Then we bid our families farewell. Then wailing and tears. That does sound like a funeral. How depressing. We're not the legion of jaunty pub songs. I <laughs> think how much easier recruitment would be if you were. Oh dear. Okay. Um. At least in their funerals they have to say goodbye. So that's that's a benefit you don't get at a real funeral. Uh, okay. So City of Amaranthine. And I think Glasserick is one of the first guys up here. But we shall see. So overall, I need six defensive runes, three for um, Nathaniel's gear, three for Ogren's gear. And I only need three offensive runes for Ogren's battle axe. I don't really need any runes for Nathaniel's daggers, because I'll probably barely use them. I'm not going to spend gold on that. And like I said before, myself and Valana don't use things. And the other three, I will not be able to use anymore, unfortunately, because once you choose three more companions, the end game begins. And just like the final, you know, the Battle of Denerim with, uh, in the original game, there's no going back. All right, so we want anything that says Silverite on it. Uh, or Stout as well. This is Akvam. All right, where's Glasserick? There he is, the Weaponsmith. Merchant Stall. Ooh, fingers twitching, so much shiny. Hey, now. You better not, I want to shop here again. I know better than to nick any of this. I was just remembering. Growing up castless in Dust Town, we took what we could get, when we could get it. But that doesn't excuse what I was. A thief and a lying rotten duster. Let's move along before the temptation becomes too great. I've only so much self-control. Is that sarcasm? No, okay. Thought she was trying to criticize me for saying, like, she's a thief. But she actually is a thief. I'm not, like, stereotyping Dust Town people as thieves. Like, she has plainly admitted to being an actual thief. Alright, um... We don't need poisons. Oh, more deep rush mushrooms. I will certainly buy those to make some stamina droughts. Which might be good to save for the DLC as well. Alright, Silverite and Stealth. Here we go. Silverite, Silverite, Stout, Stout. These are expensive as well. I guess we always could sell the Reaper's Cudgel if we need more stuff, but I don't know. Alright. That still feels too easy. Then again, it is a, a prize for beating the toughest boss in the entire game, which is in the first of those two DLCs we'll be doing after this. Alright. Um, so, we have all those recipes. Anders. All right, now we actually probably need to go. Sorry, I hate going back and forth, I know. But all right, let me just make sure I have all the recipes I need. So for Silverite, we have Journeyman. Why are these not in order? Do we not have the Journeyman? Oh, wait, armor. No, Silverite is a weapon rune. Oh, mm, no. <laughs> Expert, Master... Grandmaster, and you can't make better than, well, you can make better than Grandmaster, but they're bugged and useless, so I'm not going to. Um, so where do you get the Journeyman Silverite one from? Isn't it from Sarah or Glasserk, it says. So we probably have it, and I'm just not seeing it. Journeyman... Not seeing it. Menacing rune. There we go. All right. Just overlooked it. So now we should have all those we need. And as for the stout runes, um, the first tier of that is you get it off the bat when you train the skill. Oh, armor runes. Journeyman Stout Room, Expert, Master, Grandmaster. And we might not make any higher than that because at that point it gets to be quite expensive. Let's see, for a Stout Rune it costs... 
have a nice little chart here. Yeah, 47 gold per each Paragon Stout Rune, 23 for each Masterpiece, 11 for each Grandmaster. And if we're making six of these guys, I think I'm just going to stick to Grandmaster. Or we could sell the Reaper's Cudgel, there's always that. Because this guy also has some shoes I kind of wanted. That are debatably better than the ones I'm going to find later in the game. Fire Stompers. Is that it? I couldn't be. No, Winter Boots, that's it. Um, 8 Constitution, 15 Defense, 2 Armor, and 40% Cold Resistance. Yeah, money's worth here to spend. Okay. And you know what? I think, guys, we're going to finally... Oh! Now it has slots. I guess... I don't know. Not going to complain, but it has slots. Um, doesn't really change things, though, because... The uh, companion who would use it, I'm not going to take with me, so it doesn't really... Err... Um, I kind of want to take it to the next game in case I meet a character, though, that could use a single-handed weapon. But I suppose even if that happens, we still have Blight Blood, we have Doom at Spine, those are not bad either. Alright, let's go ahead and sell this, because I need the money. Well, it's been a, a long journey, Reaper's Cudgel. Took it with me through 120-ish episodes, give or take. 115. But, uh, I'd rather have the gold. There we go. Okay, so now that we have that, I'm going to put on those shoes. And I might replace them when I get better shoes, or not better shoes, the other shoes, but we'll see. Unfortunately, when you're a mage, I don't think your uh, appearance actually changes at all. I think it's just based on the robe. Can we give... Alana, my old shoes. Actually, hers might even be better. 10% chance to dodge attacks or 12 defense. Um, these ones are higher tier anyway. Those are only tier 1, so we'll give her this. Set bonus. Oh, from these two. Right. Okay. Um, so maybe now that we have all that gold, we can make the stout runes. Uh, let's see. Where do those recipes come from? If we even have the recipes for that. Uh, yep, you get them from Calhero, so we probably have them in that case. Alright, so let's head back to Amaranthine then, once I unpause the game. Do a quick save. And buy all the stuff we're going to need from Sarah. It's really unfortunate. Did, wait, does Glassrex sell things? He might actually sell... probably not. No, he doesn't have unlimited rune tracings. Do any of these guys? Because it would be so much easier if I could do it in an area where Anders can be out. <laughs> but see, how much does it cost to buy back? Twenty-one seventy-one. Jeez, by far the most expensive item in the game. I kind of feel like that's his main purpose, is to sell for lots of money. The like, guy's a reward. Do you have unlimited runes? You do not. Alright, we'll be back here for the potion making later on. But for now, back to Vigil's Keep. And back inside. Let Sir Pounce a lot out more. Must be stuffy in that robe. Out? You mean out to play with the Darkspawn? Such a great idea. All right, I see your point. You think I'm in power? Breath, Kitty. What have you been eating? <laughs> I still miss my dog. I like cats, but I miss Duncan. All right, so may I be of service? Yes, you may. Certainly. So now that we have crap ton of money. I'm gonna buy a ton of these. And where's her uh what's it called? That one enhancement agent thing. Oh come on. I know she has them. 
There we go, etching agents. Don't know how many we'll need, but probably quite a lot, and they're not that expensive. Um, actually, if neither of them that expensive, I'm just going to buy a bunch. And it's probably enough for runestones. We buy a few more just to be safe. That way, we don't have to keep coming back inside and outside. It shall be done. Inside, outside, and I don't know how that song goes. All right, but I know it's a song, so that's half the battle. Yes. Take different people just for the uh, conversations, because otherwise it doesn't really matter. As long as I have Anders. Is it true the dwarves are dwindling? The dark spawn always at the gates of Orzammar, threatening to overwhelm you. Yes, and yes. It's only a matter of time. We elves are few in number, and every one of us is precious. But you, you isolate your castless, forbid them from bearing weapons, and you saw what happened in Cal Hirol. Yes, well, the noble caste has a stick up its collective butt, a stick called tradition. <laughs> a stick called tradition. You can level up Agram here, and we will be using him. Although, I guess we can give him two-handed talents now. He already has all three specializations. He doesn't need disengage, and he wouldn't use perfect striking as a tank. Sweeping strike, maybe? I don't know. Do you have a tactic slot for it? Not really. Okay, that's okay, though. Um, back to Anderson and his funny hat. Okay, so I want to make. Let's do the math here. Oh, I didn't buy the novice silverite runes. God, so many ingredients. All right, sorry guys, we're gonna back inside yet again. But basically, with 16 of these, I can make 16 of those, which means eight of these, which means four of these, which means two of these. I don't want to make the I don't even have the the uh, recipes for the better ones. But even if I did, I wouldn't want to make the better ones because they're bugged. Um, so we do need we only need eight more silverite then, and a lot more. So we, it's eight. We said it's eight for grandmaster, so it's thirty-two times six for the defensive ones. May I be of service? Certainly. All right. So, using runes, you can also get some really like overpowered gimmicky builds. Like, I, I feel like that's a challenge for Bioware too. Is they had to make. I guess the. The real problem is that they made rune crafting and runes in general too overpowered. Not really, because you can find runes too. Maybe they should just had the drop rate be a little bit higher, because the idea is if you don't have any runes, you have to still be able to beat the game then. And honestly, without a single rune, you could beat the game on Nightmare, and it still wouldn't be that hard. Um, but then with somebody who has maxed runes, they're so much more powerful. Like, how do you balance the game for both those conditions? And I think the solution is what I just said. You make the drop rate on runes a little higher, or you scale them down so they're not as important as they are. Because the other issue is that the things that cannot be enchanted, like stabs and armor, or and robes and all, that pose an issue because it gives arcane warriors a huge advantage over other mages. Okay, um... So we need eight more silverite. In fact, we might just want to get more silverite Grandmaster runes to take it with us to into the expansion. Because I'm sure we'll meet people there and they will hopefully have modable weapons. Where are her supplies of... There they are. All right, so it's eight silverite runes. Eight, four, yeah, okay, per... Per Grandmaster. So we should buy the multiples of eights, in other words. Should we just buy like, I don't know, 48? So we'll have six extras then. We have so much gold, might as well buy more than that. Screw it, let's get 80. 88. Inventory full. Do they not stack? What's going on here? Why is my inventory full? Oh, each rune counts as an item, I think. 
Oh, that sucks. Gah. Oh, that's dumb. Like, if they're going to make them stack, don't... <sighs> Another stupid oversight. Yes. Uh, yes. I'm afraid to put the two dwarves in the same party. I like that you actually have two dwarves for a change. That's nice, because Bioware rarely does that. It's usually you have one dwarf and one elf. We still have just the one elf, but and everyone else is human. Same Mass Effect. You get one Asari, you get one Turian, everyone else is... Or you get one Quarian and multiple humans. So what does the Legion do when you're not, you know, dying? I'm not sure. We do that a lot. You can't do it all hours of the day. There must be some times when you're not out getting killed. Oh. Missed line of audio there. I always thought dwarves would be nicer. I always thought mages would be smarter. <laughs> Touche. I wish I knew what she said now. Maybe it was bleeped by the sensor. All right. Um... So let's use up some of these runes then. Oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, if you have a character with extra, see, I almost wanted to say just make your own character. Honestly, I would use, I would make, give your own character all the rune crafting and then just respec before the end of the game and take all the stuff you actually want. Because it's a lot more convenient than running back and forth and back and forth. It's really stupid. They, they, they don't. They should have put her outside or something. All right, so let's make as many of these as we can. Like to be companion gifts in Swotor. Click away. Actually, no, it's more like opening because companion gifts you at least have to wait. For, well, you unfortunately have to wait for. It's more like opening um, trigger treat bags in Go Wars too. All right, and then we'll make these into journeymen or into expert runes. I'll make those into master work runes. And oh, we're out of blank rune stones. Great. All right, so we need more blank rune stones, and we have 11 master things. So we need one more master. So we need. Do we have any more of these? We have one. I'm just going to, have to buy some extra and then get rid of some of them. All right, sorry if this is a boring episode. Like I said, it's crafting. So I know there's some people out there who really enjoy watching crafters, but I don't know. If, I, I don't know if we one of them or not. I'm usually doing other things while I watch Let's Plays, so I'm not like. Sitting there staring at the screen, like bored out of my skull during the boring parts. May I be of service? I'm usually like farming in Swotor, or you know, I'll find something. I'll play my uh, DS. I'm usually doing something else. I like to. I'm one of those people that I don't like to waste time. I like to be as efficient with my time as I possibly can. So if there's any way to do two things at once, I will. That being said, I am very bad at doing two things at once, which you can tell as I'm scrolling back and forth here, <laughs> hoping you guys don't notice that I totally forgot what we were doing because I'm busy talking. Um, we wanted Silverite runes. At least a decent amount of them. 16. I probably need 16. 14? I don't, I, don't, I don't know. And we need a bunch of rune stones. I sold Augrens one for the ditch. It served us well, though. And then... I think we still have more, plenty more of that distillation. Yeah, we still have plenty of etching agent. Um, so now we can probably fill up the rest of our inventory with those stout runes. Where are they? Stout runes. So we can buy 35, it looks like. Yeah. All right, let's head outside again. Very well. The sad part is we still have potion making to do after this, but I'll, I'll try to make that quick yes. and maybe I'll do it off screen. Yes. All right. See, all the, I've spent like more time preparing for this battle than I'm actually going to spend fighting in it. That's the sad part of things like this. Like for an MMO, it's really worth it because you spend a ton of time playing an MMO and doing endgame things in which having the best gear is really useful. All right, so we have plenty of Grandmaster Silverite rooms at this point, probably more than we're ever going to need. Uh, we can start making some stout runes. The Tevinter Magisters, the symbol meant health. And it's good to combine them out here, because then we can kind of make more inventory space that way. And these don't get bugged. So I'm pretty sure they don't get bugged. Grandmaster Stout, Room Master. I'm going to make one of these, 
And then, well, let's make two, because why not? We're already here. And let's make sure these are equipable for armor. Um, Grandmaster... Right, masterpiece style room. Armor room, perfect. Plus 12 constitution. Not bad at all. Back inside we go. Potions are a little easier though, because you don't have to, they don't fill up inventory as quickly, so you don't have to run back and forth like this. So they sh shouldn't yeah, take too long. Alright, need more, actually I can sell some of this stuff. I'm thinking I might actually just sell these explosives, because nobody has, do I only have one blank greenstone left? Seriously? Did I use all 99 of them that quickly? Um, stout rooms will keep, silverite rooms. I don't need this one. Because I already have these. I only need three. Still leaving with eight more for my companions. That's not bad. And future expansions. Or not future expansions, but DLC. DLC, which takes like two hours a piece, maybe, if that. I'm trying to save these as well, just in case anybody needs them. And that's, you know, sentimental. All right. Oh, we can sell these. There you go. Pretty sure the golem's control rod is now useless as well. But why didn't they just put in quest items? That would have been so much nicer. Like the stuff for Wade's quest, they put in quest items, which is super helpful. Come on, stout runes. There you are. So I need 67. What's that? Like 58? Is my math right there? Yes, it is. So as you can see, by the amount of gold I'm already spending, rune crafting can be very expensive. But if you want your characters to be the best they can be, yes, 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 definitely worth it. We should probably put like the two rows and the two mages and the two warriors together, because you seem fascinated with the a lot. lot. Oh, we don't have cats in Orzammar. Well, maybe some nobles have them, if they buy them from a surface merchant. Everyone needs a pet. Well, I had a nug once, for about an hour, before my uncle slaughtered him and ate him. <laughs> Andrew turns away like, okay then. What's the problem? No problem here. What's your problem? Paragon Stout Rune. Yeah, I guess making all these does go through the blank rune stones fairly quickly, doesn't it? You could do the math too to figure out precisely how many you need, but I'm almost out of rune tracings again. Jeez. Oh, whoops. All right, need more blank rune stones. We still have plenty of etching agents, at least. This is going to be tedious. All right. Um, yeah, I will be right back once I finish making these. I think by this point you guys get the idea, and I'm not sure how long this is actually going to take. So I will be back when we have them all crafted and ready to go. And you obviously can see how to make one Paragon rune, so just do the same thing over and over again to make the rest. Um, but yeah, I'll be back when it's time to make some potions. All right, and we're back. So rather than make you guys sit through any more crafting, I went through and made a bunch of potions myself. Um, potions at this point, I think, are pretty self-explanatory. The new recipes work the exact same way as the old recipes. They're just a lot more expensive. Um, so what I ended up doing, I did some math, too, on how much health and uh, mana they actually restore. Um, and like a health potion should be enough to restore almost all of Ariel's health, so that's not a big deal. I did make some, same with Valana, being a mage. Uh, I did make Ogryn a bunch of superb health poultices, which are the second best in the game. I don't have the schematic for the best one, but uh, they're twice as expensive anyway, so it's probably better to do this. I bought as many of these things as I could afford, just directly from the vendor, and made as many as I had deep mushrooms for. Um, in fact, we could probably have... He just doesn't have... Okay, self... Manor stamina less than 25. Use item... There's not a used least powerful stamina potion, unfortunately. All right, so we'll have them start just to use lesser stamina draws if I can find them. There they are. All right, it's a shame that he's not going to use half his abilities because he's not triggered to. 
Either way, though, um, same with him. Well, he doesn't have any slots available, though. Gah! Okay. Yeah, whatever. Um, we can always use these manually. Because, yeah, characters with low spell power get a lot less benefit from health potions, in particular, than the mages do. But, uh, yeah, I figure for these, we have so much mana that even the best ones probably won't fill it up all the way. These only do 50 points less, assuming the formulas I looked up are correct. So... Yeah, this should be enough to fill me up all the way, and this should be close to it. And the ones that are a tier higher than these are twice as expensive and only do 50 more mana points, so not really worth it. Um, and we still have plenty of regular Lyrian potions, too. We have plenty of these to burn through, and we only have you know, another hour or two left of gameplay. Maybe probably about two hours, I'd say. I don't really remember how long these quests are, but I'd, I'd guess about two hours. And then um, two DLCs after this. So, okay, all of that being said, let's head back to the keep. The very last thing I'm going to do in this episode is equip those runes to the characters I'll be using for the last stretch of the game. And once that is done, we will actually get into combat. So for those of you who stuck to this episode and decided to watch it all, I'm glad you did. I might have one more conversation for you. There was actually a really good one that was after I stopped taping between uh, Ogryn and Justice. And Justice mentioned um, Ogryn's beverages and said he refuses to call them spirits because it was a demeaning name. Which I thought was funny because he is a spirit, Tell obviously. Me about your people, dwarf. Well, elf, for starters, we do not like being called dwarf. I really? apologize. Please tell me about your people, Ogren. I'll tell you one thing. Okay. You bony human and elven types have nothing on our women. You think I'm bony? Yeah. Look at that rump. You call that a rump? <laughs> a man needs some cushion. I'm sure that's what she was getting at. Okay. So, anyway. I'm excited to get back to playing, though. Because I'd very much like to finish the game today. And Ambassador Sarah is also our enchanter, May since Sandal is nowhere to be seen. Of course. Alright, so, in fact, some of this we could probably look at all of our runes there. Um... All right, so frenzy. We're gonna take out these fire damage runes. Can't double click. I don't like that. Do any of these have things equipped? Probably not. We haven't really used runes in a while. No. All right, so the golem shell armor. That's actually a good point. Um, oh, I probably should hit escape. Oh well. For Ogren. I don't know what the set bonus is for the gauntlets. Of I think it's just a lessened stamina. He's got zero fatigue. I guess that's the minimum you can do, is zero fatigue. Um, Golem Shell Armor. Wow, so even with the minus 25% fatigue, he still has some. Uh, Alright, so for 15% fatigue, in other words... See, how is that more, though? Because this is... Minus 10% is 21. Okay, it will be about 15 point. Okay, I see. Um... I thought you could get negative fatigue, though, so is it just a coincidence that that lines up to be that way? Hmm, I don't know. Let me see real quick if the uh, Armor of Heroes defense is what the set bonus is and if it makes it worth it. The set bonus is minus 10% fatigue, so he could have negative fatigue. Um, it's a tough call. Should I give him the breastplate or should I... Well, let's see how it looks, because that's important, too. Yeah, it doesn't clash too badly, I guess. Um, so basically, we trade off 20 plus, so 25 fatigue, roughly. 23 fatigue you get. Because I assume the set bonus just doesn't, doesn't apply while you're in the camp, or in the keep. But we'll later. But you gain 8 strength, 8 constitution, 2 armor, fire resistance. Well, you lose 5 fire resistance, actually. But you get... Uh, it's tough, but Ogryn, he is our tank. So, yeah, let's go ahead and give it to him. Well, he already has it. Okay, let's let him keep it then. And now we'll upgrade. May I be of serve? Of course. All right, so we did take the runes out then. So we're going to give this three Grandmaster Silverite runes. Plus 30 damage versus Darkspawn. Not bad, eh? The Golem Shell Armor. I, did make, I didn't make six of these because I was... Even after selling the Reaper's Cudgel, I was running out of money, and I wanted to save some for potions. So these are only two Constitution left. For, so you're, I'm essentially sacrificing 
20 health for a lot of gold. And at the levels that Nathaniel will be at, it doesn't really matter. So we'll give him three Paragon runes. Oh, I didn't mean to hit accept. May I be Getting good at that key combination. All right, Trickster's Tunic. We'll also give him a ton of health. Um, we could give these things some runes, but I'm not going to bother because I probably won't use any of them at all. May I be of service? Uh, nope, Farewell, I'm done. All right, I was going to sell some stuff, but I can do that between episodes. So we are going to at long last call this the end of the episode. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, after this, we will begin the final arc of Dragon Age Origins Awakening. So don't miss it.